I want to talk about the path of blood. This is kind of a general topic, but here we go. From, from an artery, blood moves to arterioles, and then it moves into capillary beds. And from capillary beds, by that time, it becomes deoxygenated. So I'm going to draw that as blue. Returns in venules and then in veins. And then now we're back at the heart. So let's talk about that for just a minute. Let's talk about the heart. And I think I'm going to do this right here. Let's talk about this. This may be like a big mess by the time I get done, but we're going to do the best we can. This is the right atrium right here. And so blood, let's draw, let's draw a cell up here, and then let's draw a cell down here. And let's say that blood from the superior vena cava goes to the right atrium. That's going to be the superior vena cava. And then blood from the inferior vena cava goes also to the right atrium. Blood then goes through the tricuspid valve. So the blood kind of moves this direction right here. Then there is a semilunar valve that carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Let's try that. And remember that these are called arteries because they're taking blood away from the heart, but yet the blood is what? It is what? It is deoxygenated, okay? So from the lungs, let's kind of draw the lungs in right here. We'll come back and pull out on this in a minute, in a minute and get a bigger view of all this. But from the lungs, the blood is oxygenated and it goes back to the left atrium right here, right there. That's oxygenated blood coming from the lungs back to the left atrium through what kind of veins? Everybody say pulmonary veins. From the left atrium, blood goes through the bicuspid or the mitral valve into the left ventricle, and then it ascends through the aortic semilunar valve to go upward to supply the head and the neck, and then it also curves up and it goes down through the body and it goes down to supply tissues in the lower portion of the body. That's the systemic circuit in my picture. So as I go up, I'm gonna kind of split this into a branched situation right here. There we go. Going all the way back down. So that is a pretty nice overview of the path of blood from a little tiny perspective right here. Remember that capillary beds, by the way, are what control temperature regulation, smooth, smooth muscle, allows the vessels to dilate in your skin to help you lose heat. Remember that it is the hypothalamus that ultimately does the regulating. I understand that. But if these capillary beds clench down, then that helps a person conserve heat. Venules, veins, and then back to the heart through the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava Remember, remember that arteries have a thicker tunica media than do veins. And the thing I want you to remember about veins is that 60% of your total blood volume is in veins. And also remember that veins have one-way valves inside. So if this is the lumen of the inside of a vein right here, as blood travels back toward the heart, it can't go backward. <clears throat> Path of blood through the heart, through the system. Marvelous, absolutely marvelous.